Donald Trump has always been desperate to hold on to his evangelical Christian base, which is no easy feat considering his womanizing, lying, greed-laden past. One of the easiest ways for him to continue to appease that base is through Israeli policy, and his latest idea around this has allied and non-allied countries to the United States utterly appalled. Trump has made public statements recently saying that the world needs to recognize Israel's sovereignty over Golan Heights, an Israeli-occupied territory currently under the sovereignty of Syria. Israel's occupation there is not legal and global recognition of the territory as Israel's would be a redrawing of international boundary lines. In a statement reported by Reuters, the French ministry said that the Golan is a territory occupied by Israel since 1967. France does not recognize the Israeli annexation of 1981, the recognition of Israeli sovereignty over the Golan occupied territory would be contrary to international law in particular the obligation for states not to recognize an illegal situation. Trump's ties to Israel were made clear when he moved the U.S. Embassy in Israel to Jerusalem, a move that denied Palestinians the right to also claim their own stake in their holy land. The idea of recognizing Israel as the sovereign ruler of Golan Heights is causing even more controversy. At the moment, no country, other than Israel, has backed Trump's announcement. And most countries who came out against Trump's move stressed that it was a violation of international law and multiple UN resolutions. Redrawing boundary lines is something the United States can and should not do in other countries. Despite Trump's beliefs that he is king and dictator because some very misguided people cast their vote for the wild card in the 2016 election, a U.S. president cannot violate international law and grant ownership of other countries to his friends. The Golan Heights is a Syrian territory occupied by Israel. National borders should be changed only through peaceful means between all those involved. The government rejects unilateral steps.